uh, we have seen like certain um, leaders of this church or teachers of this church doing like miracles by right? performing certain miracles in front of people and especially creating like money mm-hmm. or maybe some some of them recently we saw on um, on on a i think on a youtube program i saw uh, one was trying to charge phones mm. and then maybe put a reload or something like that yeah, yeah. um so how how do you how do you address a situation like this i mean okay that's a sign of the end times okay chatra uh the bible says the antichrist is coming the mark of the beast is coming like you know everybody says but uh, uh antichrist is coming and uh, second thessalonians chapter 2 says this second thessalonians chapter 2 this is how the antichrist will deceive people right uh second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 onwards let no one deceive you by any means for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called god or that is worshiped so that he sits as god in the temple of god showing himself that he is god Do you not remember that when I was still with you I told you all these things and now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time for the mystery of the lawlessness is already at work only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way now this is the key verse and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming as jesus is coming all this will be destroyed now before that the coming of the lawless one that means the antichrist coming the appearing the the manifestation of the antichrist will be like this coming of the lawless one is according to the working of satan very clear working of satan with all power signs and lying wonders and with all unrighteous deception among those who are perishing okay you see Satan can work miracles. In the book of Revelation chapter 13, the the second beast that c- comes out of the earth perform miracles in front of the people. Right? And deceive people. Satan can p- p- give miracles. He he can do miracles. And when a miracle takes place like you said, charging of phones and repairing of washing machines and creating of money, some people call it creative miracles huh. uh, if it is a creative miracle it has to be in the bible we know god created the earth and heavens and the earth in the beginning at the very beginning okay now after that after that after creating the first thing from verse 2 onwards of genesis what god did was remaking right he made man from earth right yes so every time god created or did something designed something he used something right and even in the old testament when prophets uh, did miracles like elisha what he did was what god did was multiplication using something little to multiply so he you mean to say he used the same matter exactly to make it multiply, to give it a different look exactly okay. Mu- multiplication right jesus when he performed miracles he healed people and all that when he fed the 5000 he used five loaves and two fishes he asked what do you have he didn't just create anything out of the blues right it didn't just appear the, the the bread just didn't appear out of nowhere there were five loaves and two fishes and jesus increased multiplied it same way the first miracle that he did turning water into wine we know that right when mary came and told jesus about uh, the the wine being running out and no no wine 
if these people who say that they are the 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 creative miracles are cre like you know they, they, they create money if it is true jesus could have done this what get the jars and open it and see they are wine empty jars you meant to say empty jars yeah. but he didn't do that he asked the servants to fill the jars with water some matter something something was there something was there and he turned that into wine he turned water into wine he asked them to fill the jars with water and he turned the water into wine right and most people but when they say about this creating money part money business they quote the scripture where it says that the fish's mouth you know jesus peter came and asked yeah. jesus about a fish uh, having a coin in the mouth of the fish yes right yes. <laughs> and in the, that's how these people create money I Let think me, this is on uh, Matthew 17:27. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the context is that you know mm. the tax man man came, the, yeah. the temple tax, and and uh, Peter came and said, Jesus, they ask him temple tax. Jesus said, Now, if they are true, if these false teachers are true, right? What they are saying is true. Jesus could have said, Okay, Peter, the money is in your pocket. Go and pay. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. He said, Peter. you are a fisherman this time don't take a net he usually uses a net he says take a rod and fish just single fish catch one fish the first one who catch open his mouth there's a coin that means jesus didn't create the money in the fish's mouth jesus knew that there was a fish in that lake of galilee with a coin in the mouth somebody threw a coin for fun or something i don't know this fish went and so, it uh, it took it swallowed it jesus knew he made the fish come and catch this thing into the the, the, the peter's hook yeah. he was right? caught in the trap yeah. caught in the trap so peter went took the fish took the coin out of the mouth and paid It 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 it, it means that it, it doesn't mean that he created money. God does not create money. Why I say that? This is very important. If God creates money, it will be counterfeit money, right? Okay. But if it is not counterfeit money, if it is approved by like let's say in Sri Lanka. it has to be approved by the central bank of sri lanka it has to have a sequence number to be valid then if it, if it has a sequence number if it is not what you have earned or borrowed or got as a gift if it is in your purse that means that money belongs to somebody else god doesn't rob people god doesn't rob people to give somebody else he asked people to bless others if someone is in need he talks to someone and say go and give this to that person yeah god doesn't steal rob right so if it is uh, created money that is the devil we have proof right i i i can show you a video right we are uh, a person called david blaine a magician who's uh, who's uh, controlled by a demonic spirit creating money right creating things right give me a dollar bill give me a dollar bill. <laughs> who's one dollar bill was that no yes, it, was, it was your, and you yeah. want it to become 100 yeah if yeah. it becomes 100 you're sharing it sharing among it. the four yeah. of you right 25 25 25 squeeze squeeze 25 25 you want 25. the print you want it to change to yeah. a real hundred my mama is i do <laughs> Oh, this shit about to happen. <laughs> <See that>? Amen. <laughs> yeah, gotta... Open. Open it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, was it a hundred or a dollar? I don't even know. I just did something. <laughs> so he can move. The devil can do, do this. He can move the money that is in your pocket to my pocket. if you allow the devil to do that right we have another video to show that 
That's a perfect ring. Is that an important ring? Yeah. What, what is it, a, a, a wedding? <laughs> why is it why is it important to watch TV? Uh, my husband just recently got it and he got it in green, so. Really? Do you, do you mind taking it off for a second? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, can I see? So it's it's in what's it say? <gasps> oh! oh! Um, What's that? Oh, save it. Oh, no, no, no. It's priceless, right? Wait, hold on. Priceless. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold, hold on. You know, you know what? This sounds crazy, but this thing has to open somehow. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, uh. it <laughs> you did that on purpose? No. Wait, let's, come, wait. Come, come, come with me. Uh, this, this sounds crazy. I'm gonna get that pole and you're gonna hold it. No, come. come, oh, come man, no, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, excuse me. Oh my Now, no, no, let me ask you something. See this? See this pole right here? This sounds really bizarre. Has anybody come over hold here? On, on. No. Do you see this? The ring in the oh. Oh, 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 you see that ring? Oh, 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 is this, where did, oh, here, no, here it is. It didn't, look. Wow. Look, you see, you see. That's your ring? Yes, this is it. The ring goes from one place to a bottle and, and uh, it's taken out from a different place, which means the demon can move things from one place to another, if you allow it. And that's how these people create money. They take money from some other place or some other person, I don't know where, put it in people's pockets. And these people say, I got money. That's not God. That's not biblical because God doesn't steal, rob uh, and do illegal things. Right? Uh, but people are deceived. People are deceived. Very, very sad to see that these people are running behind money. Everything but they speak is money, money. Jesus said you cannot serve two gods, two masters. Either you will love one or they hate one. You cannot serve money and God. And these people, the false prophets, are worshipping money, talking money, earning money, and encourage others to earn money. And all that they, that, that they speak about is money. Money, money, nothing else. And Bible is not about money. It's about your righteousness. It's about the kingdom of God. It's our holiness. And then uh, presenting ourselves as living sacrifices to him. That's what the Bible says.